G'day, my name's Chris Thompson and I'm the Associate Dean Education here in the Faculty of Science. And this is just going to be a quick video to help you get your enrolment into your Bachelor of Science double degree spot on the first time. There's lots of different terminology, so what I'm going to run through in this video is what you need to do to get it right the first time. You can see on this slide here we've got some blue boxes and some green boxes. These are the individual subjects that you're going to enrol in in the first year of your course. The blue ones are science units and the green ones are, I don't know, subjects in whatever else it is you're doing. Because you're a mixed bunch, some of you are doing science law, double degree, science arts, science commerce, so we'll just call that your other degree for the time being. We're going to focus on the science. So this is your science component. In a full time load, you'll do eight units in a calendar year. So only four of these are going to be science in the first year of your course. The other four will be from whatever else it is you're studying. Now every single one of these units, as we call them, is worth six credit points. So you do the maths, six times eight, that's 48 credit points in a calendar year. We have two semesters, so you'll do 24 credit points in the first semester and 24 credit points in the second semester. Now as a commencing student, you must enrol full time. Part time study is possible, but to kick off your enrolment, you must enrol full time. You can adjust it later. So after four years, your course will probably look something like this. Now there are some differences. Um, science education double degrees, for example, have some idiosyncrasies. Science engineering double degrees, again, there are some distinct differences. It's really important that you go to the handbook, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, to have a look at each of the different course maps to make sure yours is perfect. But what they all have in common is on the science side, you will complete 16 units by the end of your course. So let's focus on the science side, starting with a major. So every single science student will complete what we call a major in a particular area. There are 25 different majors to choose from. It's going to be a mixture of first year subjects and then second year subjects, finishing off with third year subjects, which start specialising a little more deeply in that discipline. So you can also do a minor, and many students will actually do a minor and a major. So it might be that they really want to do a major in physics, but they're really interested in applied maths as well. So they might be able to do both. You can't quite squeeze in two majors in a double degree, but you can do a major and a minor. A minor is only four units, a couple of first year subjects, and then finishing it off with some level two or level three subjects. There are 25 different areas that you can complete your major in. You can see the list here, and some of these things are going to be areas that you're familiar with. Some of them, if you like, overlap with VCE subjects, but some of them are probably areas you've never heard of before. So it's really important that you look at our handbook, which I'm going to show you in a moment, to investigate all of these different disciplines and learn a bit more about them. The really good news is you don't have to lock your major in in the first year of your course, and I'll come back to that towards the end. So, breaking it down, every single one of our units will be in either semester one or semester two. There's a small number of units that are available in the summer and winter, but most are in these two semesters. You can see that every single one of these things has a unit code. So the example I'm showing you here is BIO1011. You won't be surprised to see that's first year biology. And we also pair these things up. So the pair I've put together here is EAE1011 and 1022. We call this a sequence. So it's earth, atmosphere and environment. Think volcanoes, think environmental science, all put together in a coherent pair of units. Every single student must do two sequences of first year studies somewhere in their course. And most students will do this in their first year. Now, a quick run through the handbook. So go to Google, plug in Monash Handbook 2020, and you will bring up the Monash University Handbook. It's brand new in 2020, so get the right one. You can plug in science to find your course, but there's so many things with the word science in it, it's much quicker to type in the course code. So S2000 is the Bachelor of Science, uh, or you might be doing one of our advanced degrees and so on, so they have different course codes. So 
take your course code, plug it into the system and bring up the right handbook entry. You'll see an overview, mode and location where the course is offered. Uh, you can see all of the double degree opportunities there. Now you're in one of those. You can see the learning outcomes. Click on the drop down menu. You'll be able to read each of these in more detail. And then you get to the structure. So parts A, B and C show you what's required as a part of the course. So part A, all of the course rules, the number of sequences you must do, the minimum number of second year and third year subjects you must do, it's all listed here. Moving on to the second part, this is where you can find all of the majors and the extended majors and the minors. And you can see it's a long list. There's lots of these things. So go down the list, find the ones that you're interested in, and then click on these to have a little bit more of an investigation. So let's pick one of these. Let's go to chemistry, for example. You can see here, it's got all of the important details that you need for the course. What are the level one subjects? What are the options for level two and level three, or what we call second and third year subjects? Let's pick one, sustainable chemistry. Click on this. This will give you all of the information you need to know about doing the sustainable chemistry unit. What are the workload requirements? How many lectures do you have a week? Uh, are there any costs associated with doing the unit, like buying a lab coat, and so on. So finally, you can see uh, a little bit more information about electives and further studies. Now I've mentioned electives a few times. Let's um, focus on these because you will hear lots of other students talking about them. But in a double degree, you don't have the same sort of room to do electives as, say, a student in the three-year Bachelor of Science course. So just be very careful about that. You're in a double degree, so you don't have quite as much flexibility as students in a single degree where they're able to do a few electives. You're trying to squeeze two complete courses into four or five years. So get your science subjects right. Now I've mentioned locking in that major. The good news is at the moment, you don't need to focus on that. Most students will lock in their major towards the end of the first year. The first year of the course is all about trying a few different subjects to see what you're interested in. So here and now you have one job and that's to get the first year of your course locked in perfectly. So go to the handbook, have a look at some of those different areas and make sure you get them right. Good luck.